about a time when you were bullied, whether it be in elementary school, junior high school, or even high school. Was it physical bullying, where you were being hit, shoved, tossed into the ground, put your face in the mud, or whether it was verbal, where they called you names, other things like that. Now, did you? They always say, oh, just ignore it, the bu just ignore the bully, the bully will get bored, and they won't bother you anymore. And then they say, if they don't work, if that doesn't work, go talk to a teacher. Have you ever gotten to that point where you had to go talk to a teacher because you couldn't take the things that were being said or done to you anymore? Now, did that teacher always do something? If the teacher did, I'm jealous of you. I think you're very lucky because in my case, nothing ever happened. I used to live in one city and then I moved to a smaller town where everyone knows each other. All the families kind of, all the families that grew up here, they kind of know of everyone or who everyone is that's also lived here forever, at least in the neighborhoods, at least in the schools. When I never had any problems in the first city that I lived in, but when I moved here in the third grade, I was bullied a lot. I was having issues, I couldn't deal with it. I would go to school and I would be told, you're so ugly. I would be told, no one likes you, No one. that's why no one hangs out with you, because no one likes you. That's why you don't have any friends. I was, I remember a time in particular. I was hanging out with someone I really perceived to be my friend and a group of boys came up to us and turned to her and said, why are you pretending to like her? Why are you pretending to be her friend? And I lost it. That was in the fourth grade and that's when I started trying to go to the teacher. I, this boy happened to be in my class so when I went to class I went to the teacher and said, this boy is being mean to me saying these things to me and the teacher t looked me in the eye and said stop tattling and go back to your seat to a fourth grader who was so done with this that she didn't want to go to school anymore. I was I left school before but then I came here and I didn't I started not wanting to go to school anymore. I didn't want to get up in the mornings because I didn't want to go to school. When I went to school when I was in class I was more worried about hiding so no one would see me than I was worried about learning the lesson and I think that was really sad like I didn't really have any friends I would have maybe one friend a year and we would hang out in the corner of the school and if that friend wasn't there that day or if that friend was older than me and she left the, they left the school then I was left roaming the playgrounds and everywhere else alone because I had no one else I could talk to and it wasn't just once that I was just told oh stop tattling there are multiple times that I would go to a teacher because every little assembly you go to about being against bullying they always say oh go to a teacher if ignoring them doesn't work and they'll be able to help you go talk to an adult and they'll be able to do something but I talked to teachers, I would either get, I was told two things, I was told, stop tattling, or I was told, oh, they had a home, rough home life. Like, I had to put up with being emotionally beaten because they just didn't have the best home life. That's like saying, that's like going up to someone who's assaulted someone, or someone who kidnapped someone. And afterwards when they, they say, oh, it's because my wife at home doesn't love me as much as she should, or oh, my kids are, my kids are going through a phase and they hate me, so life at home sucks, and then the cop, like, and then the cop's going, oh, your home life sucks, it's okay, we're not going to charge you with assaulting this person, we're not going to charge you with kidnapping, kidnapping them or anything, it's okay, you just go home. And in my mind, this is kind of what we're teaching bullies this, because just because they have a rough home life, they can go to school and take it out on someone else, and it's okay. And when talking to teachers didn't work, I once went to the principal, and the principal 
told me, oh, we'll do something about this, and nothing was ever done. Oh, we'll do something. Or, go tell your teacher, and your teacher will be able to do something, but that was the same teacher that wasn't doing anything. And it's like, in my, point, in my view, it should be like citizen's arrest. With citizen's arrest, if you take someone under your arrest or whatever, you take them to an officer, that officer legally has to take them from you and say, I accept that you're trying to arrest this person, otherwise it's a felony for the officer. No matter what you're trying to arrest them for, the officer has to accept the fact that you think this person did something wrong, otherwise they can be put in prison and charged for a felony. So I really think that there needs to be something put in place for teachers because obviously all these little all these little anti-bullying rallies aren't working like the adults think it is because yeah the kids can do everything that they teach us in the rallies but if the teachers aren't doing the same thing if the teachers aren't working for it then what's the point there really is no point to that i'm not saying charge the teacher with a felony because they didn't like expel the kid or something for making fun of someone but like i remember one time one time, the teacher pulled the kid to the side and at least asked him why he was doing, why he was saying these kinds of things to me. And that made me feel a whole lot better than the times when I was told to stop tattling. A whole lot better. Because at least they did something. They made the kid know, hey, I know what you're doing. So at least the kid, even if the kid didn't care, just was just like, oh, you're teacher, what are you going to do? You're not my parent. At least the teacher did something. They made the kid know that they acknowledged that the teacher knew that something was going on. And that did a lot more for me than just tattling. And so even if the teacher is only required to talk to the person being accused of bullying, something needs to happen because all these little peer mediations, like we had in elementary school and other things that are just run by the students, they don't help. At least not as much as the teachers think they do. An adult needs to be required to take some sort of action when a student is saying something is being done to them where they don't want to go to school. All because of one kid or a group of kids making them feel isolated, making them feel really unliked, making them feel like they're alone, and what's the point? So, that's my little spiel on the whole thing. So, 